I think Russia and Moscow in particular uh, is going into the peak right now over the next two weeks because although uh, the cases dropped, as you say, uh, to 4,000 today, they were up at 6,000 yesterday. That was a, a shock to so many Russians to see those kind of numbers. And when you look at the five-day average over the last five days, we are seeing a real surge and particularly in Moscow as expected. So authorities here are already saying that the peak of morbidity, i.e. deaths, is going to happen in the next two weeks. And Moscow health authorities, hospitals, have said that they might run out of beds. Now, they made that announcement, but then said they were going to take control of more hospitals. A new hospital has opened as well, so they think they won't run out of beds now. But I think that announcement uh, really shocked people. And then you had this video of a queue of ambulances going on for more than a kilometre uh, with an ambulance driver saying that he had to wait hours and hours most of the day to get his COVID-19 patient into a hospital. So you're seeing these signs of the health system beginning to creak. The Kremlin says the health system will be pushed to its limit over the next two weeks. But uh, doctors uh, and managers of hospitals have moved to reassure people that they, they do have enough personal protective gear, they do have enough oxygen, and they do have enough doctors. That despite call after call from the doctors' union here to say that there has to be more oxygen, there has to be more PPE, because they're finding within the unions that doctors are complaining that they do not have enough staff and they do not have enough equipment. So a real debate going on as to whether Russia is really prepared for this, but I think what everyone agrees is that the next two weeks is going to be a real test for this country.